Hey, what's up, gamer? Welcome to another episode of The Sega-holic. This episode is going to be focusing on ESD, what it is, and how to prevent it. So what is ESD? ESD is the rapid movement of potential such as static electricity from one object to another. It's an acronym for electrostatic discharge, and in layman's terms, it's the transfer of static electricity from one source with more static to another with less. So both sources even out with the same amount of static electricity. The shocking truth is that a human body can hold about 25,000 volts of static. And when an object with less static is touched, the static from your body transfers very quickly to the object. This transfer generates a lot of heat and will burn and melt traces or cause ICs to fail permanently or fail gradually. I suggest you read the training material from several corporations that I have linked in the video description and watch the YouTube video also linked to Visual C ESD in action. I highly recommend watching that video. Also, for those in the video game repair business, showing potential customers that you take ESD seriously can separate your business from your competitors. From my experience seeing companies I either worked for or visited, they all employed some sort of ESD elimination solution, like wrist straps or heel straps, grounding points, ESD mats, ESD smocks, lotions, and dispensing bottles, to name a few. This is a grounding point I purchased from AliExpress for roughly $2. I purposely bet this piece of metal so I can clear a connector that I'm going to be using later. The wire needs to be connected to earth ground while you can connect your wrist strap and mat connectors to this. I'm removing the wire as I'm going to use a power cord from a microwave. You can add a 1 mega ohm resistor to the wire for added safety as this will be connected to earth ground by plugging into an outlet. Here's the microwave that we're going to take the power cord from. I picked this up from the side of the road and it was the first time I ever did so and it felt like I was stealing something even though it was piled with the bulk trash. Originally, I picked this up just to salvage the synchronous motor for a future project. Also, be very cautious when fiddling around in a microwave. There are high voltage components in the microwave such as a high voltage capacitor that can hurt or kill you. With the microwave power cord, we're going to be building one of these grounding plugs for free. With the power cord off, I stripped the jacket and cut the live and neutral wires, which is the black and white wires respectively. For added safety, I bent the live and neutral prongs back and forth until they snapped off clean. I'm using some shrink tubing to give the ground wire some strain relief. Now all needs to be done is to connect a connector to the end of this wire. I'm snapping off the barrel of the connector so that it can fit in the enclosure. By the way, I'm using a connector here so I can easily remove the cord for when I need to store the table. Lastly, just do some continuity tests 
to make sure everything is connected properly. Interesting note here is that the snaps probably have paint underneath them so it's not connected to the banana jacks. I'm putting the ground point underneath this table with the help of these double sided tape which is super strong and has held my spoiler on my car for years now. This is the 3M brand and gummy type. I decided to move the grounding point to the center of the table as it's a bit more recessed there. Now all that needs to be done is to plug it in. Make sure that the ground on your outlets are properly earth grounded and has no voltage before using your rest strap. Now all that needs to be done is to plug in the wrist strap and grounding mat. This vinyl grounding mat was also purchased from AliExpress. For safety, both the wrist strap and mat cord has an inline 1 mega ohm resistor. This is a two layer vinyl mat and has a semi conductive bottom and a dissipative upper layer. You can get better quality real rubber mats, but they are quite expensive. This symbol is used on objects that are susceptible to ESD and are static sensitive. While this symbol represents objects that are ESD protective, like these two Menda dispensers, these objects work best when put on an ESD mat. This symbol is the same as the previous one and represents ESD protective objects, like this R&R lotion dispensers. You can also get ESD tweezers as well as ESD brushes, which are slightly conductive and work best when used in conjunction with a properly grounded wrist strap. While Kapton tape has anti-static properties and can withstand high temperatures. Don't take ESD lightly. Take note that simple actions like walking across carpet or a fan blowing on objects or lifting tape off objects can generate static electricity. Also, it's not just your body that can hold static, but also your tools. Anyways, that's it for now, and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. See you next time. Aloha.